This is just a quick video on how to quickly find a circuit. There are times when you want to turn off the whole power to your house or there are times when you need just one circuit to be isolated and turned off. For example, if you want the circuit off for an extended period of time. If you're lucky enough to have your circuit breaker labeled, then that's not an issue. The problem is if you don't have accurate labels and you're unable to find which circuit, so you don't want to run up and down the steps turning off each circuit one by one, you can get this Klein Tools Circuit Finder. All right. So if you wanted to figure out which circuit a light fixture was on, you could do the same thing, same way you would find out which circuit an outlet is on. An electrical receptacle comes with the screw-in receptacle. So this goes into pretty much any light fixture and you would just plug this in as usual. Take the light bulb out obviously. Turn this off. Very simple. And then importantly, we turn this back on, and then you can see if you hit that button in the back. And I'm going to take my Klang Tools Digital Circuit Breaker Finder down to my circuit breaker. And this is my electrical panel. So, of course, you may not have them labeled, which is one reason for getting this tool. So you press this button, all right, so it's trying to find, and there you go. If you're not sure, go back up. There you go, so it beeps. So then you would know that this is the circuit that you want to turn off. And then you can press this back in to turn it off. So this part is a pretty interesting. This is if you have the wires, the conductors, but don't have an outlet. You can test it the same way by this adapter. So you put the adapter into this part here, which has wires. For example, when I was installing my dishwasher. If I had wires coming out of the wall, I'm not sure which uh, circuit it's on. So you would use these alligator clips. They're insulated so nothing metal can touch them. And you put the, uh, the red on the hot and the black on the neutral. And then what that does sends the circuit similar to the hot and neutral prongs on a regular outlet. And you do the same thing. You press this button and then go down and test and see which circuit it's on. So you can turn just that circuit off. Let's say you did want to look for, figure out which uh, circuit your outlet's on. So you do it similarly. Press that in. By the way, you look at this and see how it's wired to see if it's wired correctly. And then you press this button. Well, here I have an outlet, I'm not really sure, can't really tell with all this spaghetti wires. So I'm going to put this in. You can see there's no ground, so that might be a problem with, because there's definitely a ground conductor in here. So why does it not have ground? It might not be connected properly. So I might want to turn this, just this circuit off. Hopefully I'll still have lights down here, so that's why I'm not going to turn the entire panel off. And that's one way this is useful. So you have it here and figure out. Then you turn it on. There you go. So Unfortunately, this will turn off the entire basement in my particular, my particular situation here, but 
I know which circuit this is on. And then of course I'll turn, flip this off, and then see that this is not lit at all. And that tells me that this circuit is off. And I'll also use a non non-contact voltage tester to make sure there's no voltage coming through here at all. And then I can turn the entire thing off, get a headlamp light or something, take this off and see why it doesn't have a ground, or add a new outlet or a new light fixture or whatever. You want to change just the light fixture. By then you'll have the whole power off anyway. Well, that's about it. I recommend checking out this tool. There's a link in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.